This is what the classic luxury African safari looks like. Pampered tourists ferried around in a softly sprung 4x4, watching nonchalant animals enduring the heat of the bush summer, biding their time for nightfall and a chance to get busy hunting or grazing. There is, of course, the odd distraction to pass the time for an elephant, but by and large, daytime in the bush is relatively quiet. Usually it's dusk that signals home time for the tourists. But this safari team has turned to battlefield technology, more often used for tracking the Taliban in Afghanistan, to stay on the trail of wildlife when it swings into action after dark, using night vision goggles. The whole idea was to try to get closer in with nature and also try to put yourself in the space of the animal. So the lions, if you with the night glasses, you can see what lions see because their nocturnal vision is so good. And with the hearing, mechanical hearing devices, you can hear way above what you normally would hear. And that increases your engagement with, with nature. So whilst the other tourists head off to tuck into their evening meal back at the lodge, we are hunting game in the bush, in the dark. With a normal camera lens and a bright light, you can probably make me out. But you've got no idea what that noise is behind me in the bush. But with the night vision equipment, you can see it's a pride of lions resting up and deciding whether or not to go on a hunt tonight. And it's not just lions. A hippo that spent the day cooling off in the water ventures out for a nocturnal snack. And an inquisitive buffalo herd check out our vehicle up close and personal. Night vision really sort of opens up a new world um, for, for your average guest um, who, who wouldn't see that normally. Um, especially your predators as well. Your, your predators will get active very late in the evening on a, on a hot summer's day. So um, with the night vision we can, we can follow them and we can view them and watch as they hunt and mark territory. The night vision equipment is expensive and not every safari goer will want to stay into the night in the wild. But if you're bored of sunbathing lions and snoozing leopards, then a glimpse of the dark side might be for you. But make sure you take a torch, just in case. David Bowden, Sky News in South Africa.